Hi guys, here to teach you how to nollie backside flip. With the nollie backside flip, you are going to one nollie, and then there's a huge debate with this trick. Um, Reynolds, I don't know. I'm sorry to you, but my my philosophy or logic with this is nollie backside, right? Here, your back side is going to be in the direction that you are going so uh or no only front side flip i don't understand skate logic but i'm gonna say no only back side flip please don't stab me when you watch this video so no only back side flip two things you want to learn no only back 180 and no only flip You apply those two for the nollie backside flip. I flick the nollie flip when doing the 180 a little different. I point my foot kind of uh, slanted and my front foot just kind of just forward before the front bolt. So when I do this trick, I just flick out and turn my back backside because it's in the direction I'm going and this is one of those tricks, if you're taking it off stairs or a gap or anything, you're kind of blind. It's like a blind spot. This is all, you're blind to all of this going on. So just know what's ahead of you before you do this trick. So let's demonstrate that. No, I back. Fail. So for the Nolly backside flip, when you do this trick, remember you are blind to everything that is ahead your back side is in the direction you're going another thing with the nollie backside flip you start off in the regular stance but when you finish you end up rolling fakie so I end up rolling this direction so I did nollie backside flip I'm gonna roll fakie the thing with this trick is you have to do a lot of backside tricks off of things or um, not that, well, just going fast forward and doing a lot of backside tricks. This will help you when you land fakie, you don't slip out, you just know that you have to lean in the direction that you're going. So when you do the trick, you're riding fakie, but you have to lean back still, or forward. So with that trick, I all I can just say is just believe in yourself. You know, it's a little scary when you first do it, but you can take it off a pyramid. With the pyramid, if you can't do the full rotation, the pyramid helps with that. Helps with the popping motion, flicking, and turning your body. And also, when you land on the pyramid, it also helps you and it prepares you to lean in the direction that you have to go. Because if you don't lean right on the pyramid, you're gonna slip out. It's the same thing when you land off a stair set. So you can take it off drops, pyramids, and off stair sets or whatever you choose to do with it. I hope that works. Comment below if you have anything else you'd like to see or anything you'd like to share. Um, share, like, and subscribe. Hope this works for you. You guys have a good day.